Hi, this is Sarah from Sarah Humphrey Embroidery. Welcome to my French Knot Express video. So if you want to know what all this is about, then you need to check out my ultimate French Knot video. Loads of information all about the French Knot. You'll find lots of really interesting stuff there. But if you just want to know how to do the stitch, you're in the right place. Let's have a look at it. OK, so I'm doing my knots on a linen fabric and I'm going to use a perlé thread. This is a number five in a chenille number 22 needle, basically so you can see clearly what I'm doing. And despite what you may think, French knots are really easy. You just need to know a couple of things. So I'm going to tell you about those now. So I'm going to bring my thread up where I want my knot to start. And this is if you're right handed. I'll do left handed as well in a moment. Thread comes towards me. Needle is above the thread away from me, thread goes over the needle, back towards me, and you need to keep that tension on that needle. Needle goes back into the fabric, not in the same hole that you came out, but very close by. That stops the knot pulling through to the back of the fabric, so that's important. And then before you pull your needle through, just pull up on that thread there. Not super, super tight, but just take up the tension. You can let go of that at this point if you want to. Needle goes through to the back. Pull this down slowly to tension your knot. One French knot. So let's do that again. So where you want your French knot to sit, thread comes down towards you, needle away, over the needle, back. Keep that tension on there. Needle goes back into the fabric close by, but not the same hole. Tighten your thread around the needle, needle goes through to the back, pull down slowly, let's do a couple more, thread towards you, needle away, round the needle, tension on, pull it tight, needle goes through to the back. You can see I'm just wrapping once, you can go twice. Again, check out that other video. There's much more information about how many times you should wrap a French knot and why you shouldn't do it loads and loads of times. So do check that out. But a couple of times is good in my opinion. So once, twice, keep the tension on, needle in, pull again, through to the back. Hello. Can you sit down, please, buddy? Want to know how to do French knot? Let's go twice. Needle in through to the back. Okay, it's a right handed one. Let's have a go at a left handed one. <laughs> interested in that, mating. Not normally interested in what I'm stitching. Uh, no, don't eat the thread. Stay in there. Okay. okay left-handed one. So I'm not left-handed, I'm right-handed, so it might look a bit awkward, but I'll do my best. So basically you're just going to mirror that. So thread towards you, needle away, goes over and back. Keep the tension on that. Needle goes into the fabric nearby, pull that tight, you can actually let go. That goes through to the back. So do that again. Thread towards you, needle away. Do one more, we'll go around twice this time, once, twice. Keep that tension on, that's really important. Needle goes in close by, pull that tight before you take the needle through to the back. nice even French knots. So if you want to know what needles that you need to use for um, your different threads, which different threads you can use, in fact, what to do when your French knots go wrong, because they invariably will when you're learning, um, and loads of other information about it, including some um, really lovely pieces from my collection with French knots in, then do check out that other video as I mentioned earlier. It's all in there. Um, and hopefully this has given you a reminder of the French knot that you needed. Um, and if you've enjoyed it, do give us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.